Yeah. Yeah. So he's had a pretty profound impact on me um, and how I view the world and my perspective and challenging uh, me as a human being. And he just has such a simple saying of clean up your room. Yeah. Right? Right. Yeah. Keep your room clean. And what that represents symbolically as a metaphor, I think is hugely transformational Mm. because people feel overwhelmed by life by the chaos of life that they have created or has been pushed put onto them yeah and if you get stuck people get stuck it's like what do you do right and i think for those people who are stuck it's like you just got to start with what's around you Mm. it's like you might see all these problems like fuck this 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 i gotta clean up so much shit in my life but where do you start make your bed in the morning just get one small win. It don't matter if the whole, the rest of the day, nothing happens. If you start at one small win, make that bed in the morning, cl- you, your, your room's a mess, your house is a mess, that, re- that reflects your life. Absolutely. Right? Your environment reflects your mental state. Mm. If your environment is a mess, why wouldn't your mind be a mess? Yeah. And so if we can, that's one thing per day that we can address. All right, I'm going to pack away this and put it away. Next day, I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do one more thing, and you keep mm. building. Absolutely, for sure. And that will reflect in every other area of your life. For sure, absolutely. You build a habit. Yeah, like you can. You can tell a lot of. You can tell a lot by someone by just walking into their house. Oh yeah, like you see where their priorities are. Oh yeah. But you know, I, I get fucked up because I can get judgmental. Oh yeah, yeah and true. I can be like, all right, fuck. You got to calm down because. Mm. This is actually a recent uh, Dear Alexander memoir I kind of wrote to myself. It's like, look, you can't compare your ideals and your standards of your life to other people's. Hell no. And that's what I've, 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 I've done that before. And I'm like, it's a dangerous spot because then it's like, you not expect, but you kind of do expect people to come to your level, mm. right? Close to you. It's like, hey, like, come on. Like, if my standard's up here, you got you to gotta raise up. But it's like, no. Their standard not necessarily may work. Uh, your standard may not work for them. Exactly. Just because you have X, Y, and Z standards doesn't mean they're not fulfilled and, and joy-filled and have meaning within this standards they've created. Yeah, for sure. And coming to peace with that mentality has really been challenging. But it's like, you know what? Look, they may look when you walk, like you say, you walk in someone's house, you get to see their priorities, you get to see it's a reflection of them. But at the same time, look at them they may be perfectly content. Mm, absolutely. Or they may not be. Most people aren't. Yeah. So what can we do about it? Yeah, true. Like, I think, yeah, the someone's house is definitely a reflection of them. And if they're happy with what's going on in there, for sure. Like if they're leading, fulfilling, content lives, great. I would love to challenge that. And be like, okay, are you really leading yeah, the life that the you life you want to live? Yeah. yeah. Like if Where could we be? Yeah. Um, like what's I the mean, p- we people get so caught up in just like the fucking rat race, man. Like yeah. it's just like, no, this is how it's meant to be. Like I'm meant to just go to work and I'm meant to just come home to this messy house and just do the cleaning on the weekend and blah blah blah. And it's just like it's just like a slow, like <sighs> a slow it, death, man. Yeah. Slow death. Exactly. And it's like, cool, is this is this really what you want to be remembered for? Like at your funeral? I get really dark when I see people living those lifestyles. I'm like, you're living a slow death. Mm. I get super dark. I'm like, why, why why are you still here? Like, I get re- I get really like cr- unfairly, but also fairly critical. I'm like, we got one life. Let's maximize this motherfucker. Oh, yeah. Let's squeeze the motherfucking life out of this bitch. For sure. I don't know what the fuck happens next. No one does. Well, you don't know if you're going to die tomorrow. Nope. <laughs> Kobe, Kobe gone at 41. Right. No matter how much money he had, mm. no matter how successful and how much influence he had, no matter how smart he was, that helicopter went down. Mm. And that helicopter's going down for all of us. We don't know when. 